Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're fine, hope you're great. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to fix or attach your ready-made bra cups to your princess that bust here. Now on this channel, I already have a tutorial on how to draft and cut a princess that bust here. And another video on how to pad it with your wording, with your foam, your breast pads, and any type of wording you want to pad it with. But right now, I'm going to teach you how to fix ready-made bra cups to your princess that bust here. So I've drafted my princess that was still already and here is my lining fabric and I've infused, um, I've interfaced my hair stay on it, on the lining, okay, and this is the main fabric, okay, I did not put any hair stay or uh, gum stay, but you can as well interface your main fabric because I'm attaching a peplum to this and it's quite heavy because there's crinoline, there's peplum stay and I don't want it to be so heavy for the client, so that's why I'm not interfacing the main fabric where I interface the lining. All right, so I'll go ahead and couple my princess that bustier together. For you to attach your um, padding, you have to couple the princess that bustier together first. It's not like your normal um, wording and breast pad that you go ahead and fix the bre the wording or breast pads to the panels, okay, of the princess that bustier before you now join. This one is separate. This one is different. You join your princess that bustier first before you attach your uh, cups that is why i'm showing you how to join or uh, sew together your princess that was there but if you want a detailed tutorial i already have that on the channel and the link to that video will be in the description box so you can watch how to couple your princess that was there properly all right so i've shown one side i've shown one center one side front to the center front you can see all right then i'm going to go ahead and sew the other side i I recommend that you interface your main fabric as well as the lining. I'm doing this because there are a lot of work going on on this particular outfit. So, and it's going to make it super heavy. Right, there's peplum stay on the peplum and it's a 720 degree peplum. So, and it's double step, there's peplum stay, there's crinoline, there's all of those things. So, it's actually heavy and I don't want it to be as heavy as it's going to come out to be. Alright, so please, I recommend you interface your main fabric and interface your lining as well. Alright, but if you interface only your lining, it's still doable, it's workable, you can see that is exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so keep on uh, sewing. You're using half inch seam allowance to couple your princess that bustier. I recommend using half inch to sew or couple your princess that bustier. Alright, I always recommend that. So I'm done coupling this together. You can see so i'll go do the same thing to the line and afterwards i'll go ahead and notch it out right so this is the lining i've coupled the lining as well so you can see one thing with princess that is that you have to notch it out because there is a lot of tightening and uh, going on around there so you need to notch you can see the way i'm notching it all around from the under bust you should notch it all around the curve of the bust to release the tension and tightening around that area because you are sewing on a curve you just like sewing your necklines on a curve you have to notch it before you top stitch you get so that's the same thing you do to princess that bust as you notch before you go ahead and give it a very good press which i have done and you can see i've opened up my seam so when you're uh, ironing you make sure you open up your seams and iron i also did the same thing to the main fabric but you wouldn't see so much of that because there's no interfacing on it now it's time to attach your bra cups now you have to attach the bra cups to the lining because we don't want the stitchings that you use in attaching the bra cups to show on your main fabric right so that's why i'm saying you should attach it to your lining so we're going to start by uh, knowing the, the side of the cup to use. Now you're going to place the deep part of the bra cup on the wrong side of the lining. Alright, let the deep part, the part where your boss goes into, it has to face the wrong side of your lining. This is very, very important. If you go ahead and place it the other way around, you're going to have issues with that. So now I'll just go ahead and fold it into two so that I can determine the midpoint of my bra cup. You can see that then I'm, I'm placing it right on the under bust, okay? Then I'll go ahead and pin it down. Remember that the deep part of the bra cup is facing the wrong side of the fabric. The reason I'm um, doing it like this is because I want to pin it down. When I'm done, you will see that it is all you can see 
it has pulled back so that is why i said the lower the deep part okay the deep part of the bra cup should face the wrong side of your lining i'm saying it again the deep part of the bra cup should face the wrong side of your lining so you're going to go ahead and pin it then while you're pinning you're going to be making a fist into the bra cup okay and you're going to be putting your fists okay into the bra cups just to make room for your bust i'm removing the pins and i want to pin it again to demonstrate what i have done earlier so you start from your under bust length okay so you have to indicate that point so place the bra cup on the under bust length you can see then the midpoint of the bra cup should be on your bust pan line the place you have sewn that's why i folded the cup into two initially but i didn't want to do do that so that you don't get confused as to which side of the cup faces the lining or the wrong side of the lining also so that's why i had to pin it like so now inside you're going to be making a fist okay on the right side of the lining so that you're going to give your bust room or accommodation there all right so that this is not going to be flat and you will not see where your bust will enter do you get so you're going to be making a fist okay put your palm together you know how you make a fist if you want to blow somebody one blow seven apples hey you just go ahead and make a fist like that and pin so you can see while i'm pinning i'm still making a fist to be sure that this is not straight it doesn't have to be straight because you need your boss to enter very well right so i'm pinning the other side the same way they have to be on the same length you don't want one breast to be up and the other breast to be down do you get we don't want about no my hair so that's what we are doing fold the bra cup into two so that you get the midpoint of the bra cup it has to align with your bust span do you get now at the same time the deep part of the bra cup is going to be facing the wrong side of your lining so these are the things you need to do that does just, just these two things then you go ahead and pin it around making sure that they are on the same line right just have to be on the same line the underbust of the two cups have to match and it will also have to match at the upper part now you can see what i'm doing the the right side of the lining you have to consider it you can see so that you can be making a fist and be pinning so whichever one works for you you can pin from the outside you can pin from the inside the main cocoa is to be the main thing is to be making a fist to create room and accommodation for your breast or your breasts so that you don't attach or fix a ready-made bra cups and your boobs will be looking for where to fit in do you get so that's what i'm doing making a fist and you know so when i'm done i'm done pinning and i've seen that it's all right so i'm just going to make sure that i match it up like at the center point that both of them are matching together you can see so i'll just go ahead and adjust it i've done that you can see so both of them are now matching okay so you just not that they will overlap each other but they'll just be kissing you know there, there'll be intimacy between the two bra cups okay there'll be intimacy they have to kiss each other hug each other okay they don't have to separate so so when you're not comfortable with how everything is looking you can now go ahead and stitch it around some persons like to hand tack it all around i used to do that for for a while i used to do that a long time ago but i realized that when i tack it or when i hand tack it after a while after so many washing drying and using washing machine all of those things the tackings tend to lose him then you now see somebody that the breast one breast is in the left in the south the other breast is in the north and you know that doesn't look good so that is why i now recommend that you stitch it all around now the black up already has the allowance so you can stitch on it just like when you're attaching your bra cups to a corset so that's what i'm doing from that same allowance i'm just going to stitch it all around just at the outer part of the bra cup i'll just go ahead and stitch all around it like so now you can hand tack if you're not comfortable with sewing this but this is super nice and it's it stays as long as that dress or the whatever you're making lasts so like i told you previously or in previous times i used to hand tack like when i'm done i'll use my needle and thread to tack it all around now that is stressful that is time consuming and at the end of the day after so many washings the tackings would loosen right so i recommend sewing on it so that is what i'm doing you can see so i've sewn one side 
you can see now for me to sew the other side i'll still go ahead and make fist inside this is very important making a fist inside this is creating room and balance for your bust because i've seen people that attached uh, ready-made bra cups to dresses and they are still looking for where to fit in their boobs so please you have to make a fist create room for your bust now i'm sure you'll be wondering this is a bra cup what size are you supposed to use for your bustier places that bustier now for when, when we make corsets we say add two inches to your ready made sorry add two inches to your bust size now if your bust is 40 you use bust 42 for your corset but for this princess that bustier or for just attaching your bra cups to your bustier you would use your accurate bust size now this person's bust is 38 i'm using bra cup 38 okay now do you know that there are people that uh, their bust sizes are small but their busts are big i don't know how to uh, explain that there are people with smaller bust sizes but bigger busts so if that person's bust is 38 but the breast there is very big you have to make room for it so that's why i'm saying there is no formula it's not like this it's a constant that you must use the person's bust size or that you must add two inches so just work with the person's measurement if the person is bust 38 and the bust is not so big it's moderate use the exact bust size right but if the person is bust 38 but has a bigger bust you can now use 40. now for the inside the deep part I want to hand tack it. I don't like sewing on the inner side, okay? I don't like sewing there. So I make a fist and hand tack. Now, even if this loosens, the bra cup is still intact, okay? I just like to sew the middle part so that it would uh, adhere to the lining. So I like to do hand tacking at this point. Just one or just two or three, four tackings, and I'm good to go. So you can see, just hand tack and make sure that you secure it. So when you're also hand tacking, make sure that you made a fist inside there before you hand tack. So I had to use a contrasting thread so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'll tack the other side. You can see me making a fist inside. Then I'll put in my needle. Then I hand tack. So back to what I was talking about concerning the bra cups. If your bust is 38 and the bust is not big, moderate, of course, use size 38. But if your bust 38 and you have a fuller bust, you're going to be using 40 or just add 2 inches to it. So there is no standard like says if you are bust 38, use 38. If you are bust 44, use 44. Work according to the size and measurement of the person that you measured. Okay, so when you're working for your clients, look at the person. Is this person busting? If possible, indicate it in the measurement size, size, um, bust that it, but bust the client. Okay, you get so it helps you make outfits that have better fittings. So now that you're done attaching your bra cups, you can now start making your blouse or your dress. So I'll just use the lining to turn the neckline and the sides. And that would be all okay so if you have questions I'll be right there in the comment section to answer to your questions and if you want to know how to cut the princess that was here the link to that video will be in the description box if you want to learn how to copy your, your princess that was here the link to that video would also be in the description box all right or I'll just go ahead and pin the links to those videos in the comment section so I'll just go ahead and turn my neckline you can see I'm also notching the neckline that's what I said about the princess that was there when you're sewing anything around the curve make sure that you notch it around Okay, so that's why I said you should notch your princess that bust here. So just go ahead and turn your neckline with lining and, you know, top stitch. Then when you're done, you go ahead and sew the sides. And that will be all. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed filming it. Please share this video with your friends and other lovers of fashion designing and sewing. And please subscribe to the channel, learn to sew with Nani, watch my other videos. And please, while you are watching the videos, you know, try to watch the ads so that we'll be getting small, small, you know, small, small things that we're using to lick sweets and chewing gum when we are doing the sewing. So I love you guys. Thank you for all the love you've shown me on this channel if you're a beginner if you're new you're welcome so you can see now when you're done this is what this looks like you can see so you can just go ahead and sew the sides and we have it i'll see you in my next tutorial bye